Hi, Hi everyone. everyone, we're so excited. It is June 1st. Welcome to our June 1st release. Yeah, it's, um, a big one. it's a big one. We have been dropping hints for a very long time, teasers here and there. Yeah. And um, we're just so excited to finally be able to tell everyone what we've been working on That's these right. last few yeah. months. If you are checking out our website right now, you will be able to see that we have dropped <laughs> Dropped, we're so cool. Um, <laughs> dropped our Sin Refresh fountain pens over here. Right. And also our ceramic ink series. Yeah. Yeah, so we are so excited to talk about these, but we'll get into them a little bit later. Uh -huh. And first we'll talk about how these are the final two installments of our Yoseka special projects. Yeah. For anyone who's been following us, you know a little bit about our special projects. Yeah. We started our special projects as a way of encouraging our team to be creative right. and to follow their ideas of right. something that they want to make. And have fun. And to have, while doing it. And to have fun while they're <laughs> doing it. That's right. It's very rewarding to see your idea coming in life. Yes. Yeah. So uh, at the beginning of the year, we went to Jane, Ashley, and Christine, yeah. and we asked them that we asked them to think of something that they want to make, right. um, that they would love to use themselves, and yeah. they want to make for Yoseka. And so Jane created her Yoseka Museum postcard right. and underlay, um, and Ashley created her Yoseka note writing memo. Mm -hmm. um, which we use for our notes all the time That's now. Right. Yeah. And Christine made this adorable metal, very thin fountain pen bookmark, which yeah. has a little fountain pen over yeah. there. Um, and so these special projects were, you know, our way of just working with our team to yeah. do something that they want to do. We always think about like at the beginning of the year, something that we want to spend the whole year working on. And we identified this as our goal because it was just a really cool way of sort of encouraging our team to be creative. Yeah. We, we have a really creative team. And actually. there's always something we talk about, not just this year. Actually. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we've always talked to our team about like, what do you want to do? What do you want to make? And right. um, it was just, you know, it's really easy to talk about, I guess. And everybody yeah. has ideas of things that they want to make and something cool that they see that they would love to do. But right. when you're actually thinking about how to do something, if you've never done it before, right. it can be a little bit scary to start. You don't yeah. know how to start. So this year we were on one of our walks and right. we were just kind of like, let's just do it. You know, right. like we'll tell our team, like, just give us an idea, like something that you want to make, something yeah. that you think people would be into and just follow through confidently. We'll yeah. help you. Um, we'll help you every step of the way and we'll just get these things that you want to make to the finish line and actually actually create physical things for them. Yeah. And so we're, we were so happy, so proud of our team that they actually created these three things. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess this release is like a continuation right. of that. Um, but the idea of this is something that, you know, is really central to the values of Yoseka, right. I would say. Um, you know, whenever we are looking for a new team member, mm -hmm. I look for people who are, you know, super talented, who right. I think would fit in well here at Yoseka, who can obviously do the things that we have to do, which are like working on our online orders and working in the storefront and helping people, like right. being very pleasant and great people. Yeah. Um, but I also just ask people when I interview them, like, yeah. what do you want to do? Like, where do you see yourself in a few years? Right. And um, I think about I think about that. I think about their answers, like as they're here at Yoseka, yeah. and I talk about that with Neil, and mm -hmm. that plays into just every day what we're doing here at exactly. Yoseka. Yeah. yeah. So you know, every day we once we finish working on our online orders, right. we turn to our team and we think about what do you want to do? You know, 
What do you want to spend your time doing? What do you enjoy doing? Yeah, okay, what's the most fun out of it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and so, so far, like, everybody has had, like, very different things that they're geared towards. And, right. um, you know, for example, Jane was always, like, she's going to grad school now, right? right? So she was always, like, super good at researching things, and she had a research background. Yeah, so, she, she loved writing blog posts. Yeah. Right, so at the end of the day, what she likes to do is doing research blog posts. Yeah. Yeah. And Ashley <laughs> and Neil <laughs> are like binge watch and share TikTok videos all the time with one another. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <And> Ashley's <laughs> made um, a lot of um, uh, reels and TikTok. So many, <laughs> yeah. Right. And Christine has made a lot of um, uh, Instagram content. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, people want to work on uh, packing or that's um, right like sometimes somebody's <laughs> tired and they're just yeah. like I'd love to do some ink samples right now and right. we're like go for it you yeah, know go for it whatever <laughs> you want to do at the moment and whatever that drives you the most most joy yeah uh, then go for it go do it um, if you want to work on something creative we encourage that and um, if you have an idea we want to see it through um, and that's what working at Yosaka is like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes it comes out from lunch, um, from happy hours, uh, all these ideas. Ideas like this come in our daily conversation as we're doing a lot of like different type of uh, chores. Uh, and sometimes it comes from talking to customers, from working at Yosaka um, and interacting with uh, different companies. Mm -hmm. What we all can also do is we can actually um, turn uh, a creative idea into a physical product. We actually, you know, we want people to be able to do something that fulfills them yeah. um, and that they get to sort of take away something from from their time that they spent and learn something. Yeah. Um, and so that's really that's really meaningful to us. And actually, uh, we always yeah. we always think that our team should outgrow Yoseka and eventually take the skills that they learned here and be able to use that to do something else that they want to do right. um, and you know eventually do their own thing basically. Right, as, um, as, as Yoseka grow, our team member grow with us. They get to work on uh, bigger and bigger projects mm -hmm. so they can grow with us but we also want to um, uh, have our team member to work on some projects that have their name attached to it. Um, we want them to be able to um, think outside of Yoseka, whether or not they want to create a brand or um, yeah. do their own Etsy shop. We encourage that um, because you are thinking about a more complicated, more complex mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. That, that that drives you, that's more fun for you to do. Yeah. And we want them to be able to help grow Yoseka one day um, using the experience they have here mm -hmm. at Yoseka. And these kind of projects where they can really make a project, uh, make their creativity yeah. happen, um, is uh, kind of like a seed to. Um, whatever they want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think like for me, like it's been super rewarding to be able to start Yoseka and have it grow into something that we love so much. Yeah. And it's super meaningful to us. And so I guess like we want that for our team as right. well. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea behind yeah. our special projects. Yeah. And um, <laughs> as you can probably tell, it means a lot to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, in the future, if you see more projects coming, um, each member, whoever creates their own project, um, they get a share of the, uh, the profit as well. Um, so that's, that's what uh, that's how we encourage them part right. as, as part of it uh, and this is something that's going to be uh, belongs to them. I mean this year I think that we went to our team and sort of uh, gave them a little push um, yeah. to do these special projects and you can definitely see like in Ashley's memo pad and in Christine's bookmark and in Jane's um, 
postcard. These are things that they created, so you can see them. You can see them in it, but you can also see Yoseka in it. Yeah. So these are very much things that they created for Yoseka. Right. Um, but this doesn't necessarily have to be the case, and we've encouraged them to, you know, use their creativity and take these, take the experience that they have with making these, yeah. um, and you know, making what they want to make right. um, and using Yoseka as like a launch pad to share their idea with um, our audience yeah. as well as their own audience. Yeah. So, you know, in the future, I hope you'll be seeing a lot more from our team. So that is a little bit about our special projects and just explaining why um you've been hearing me talk so much about them this year i've probably used the phrase special project like a hundred times this yeah. year across all of our different like blog posts and youtube videos and instagram posts everybody's like i'm sick of these special projects <laughs> um but yeah so you know this is just something that this is our our goal for the year and that's why it's really our focus for the year yeah. um so we are really really excited to finally be able to talk about our pen and our ink series right. which are um, sort of the the inks were sort of Neil and my special project because we've really been working on even since last year right. and um, the pen is sort of our team's collaborative effort right. Um, so it's our, our whole team special project. We are just so happy to announce yeah. our Sin Refresh fountain yeah. pen that we obviously made in collaboration with Sailor and I'm holding two pens in front of me yeah. and that means that there is a Pro Gear Slim version as well as a Pro Gear version. Right. And I couldn't be happier about that because last year people we we actually did want to make a pro gear version yeah, yeah. of our origin pen right. but um you know it was just pro gears are more expensive as yeah, everyone knows it would have bankrupt us <laughs> <laughs> there would have been no special projects this yeah, yeah, year yeah, yeah. no yoseka yeah, right, right. Yeah. um so you know we're really happy that we were finally able in a place able to be in a place where we could do the pro gear yeah. slim and the pro gear yeah. and i'm just gonna give the camera a little close-up of this beautiful pen right. um so it's um like a dewy green, blue green that's like semi transparent with yeah. some shimmer on the body, and then a transparent uh, coral, peachy coral finials on the cap and on the end, yeah. with of course our Sin character yeah, the as the character, finial. The second character in our name. Yes, that's right. So for anybody who got the origin pen, um, you'll know that you have the Yo character on your finial, yeah. and this has the Sin character on on the finial. Yeah. So a little wink, wink, <laughs> <Ross coming. laughs> Yeah. You know what we're doing now. Yeah, they're, they're limited. So. Yeah, they're limited, yeah. limited, like limited production. <laughs> um, but so this pen is obviously, it's called Refresh yeah. because our origin pen was all about, you know, sort of looking at how Yoseka started and recognizing all of our early partners who right. really took a chance on me and Neil in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and Refresh is all about where we've come, yeah. our current team, right. and it's a celebration of everyone on our team and this amazing group of people that we've assembled here at Yoseka. Yeah. And actually the colors of the pen were chosen by Soraya. Right. Um, you know, she wanted to do like a new take on our original green of yeah. Yoseka, which is obviously you know, you think Yoseka, you think green, or at least I do, um, but she definitely wanted to take it in a different direction. And then these finials, these coral peach finials are just Soraya. Yeah. Like if anyone knows Soraya, if you follow her on Instagram, even if you've never met her, you'll yeah. see this color repeatedly used in her artwork yeah. and just 
she just loves this color. Her clothes. Her clothes. She has yeah. like so many peach outfits, and right, my right. mind just goes to these like pe yeah. peach corduroy pants that she has. Yeah, this could be what she's wearing today. This could be what she's wearing today. Yeah. Um, and so she was absolutely essential in putting yeah. this pen together. She picked these colors for us. And, you know, we just thought what better way to celebrate our team and how far we've come from just me and Neil right. to this amazing group of people than, you know, having Soraya, our first ever employee, yeah help us choose the colors for our next pen. Right. I'm loving this pen and I'm excited that, you know, we're, we'll be able to share it with you and um, whoever has both, yeah. wow, like that's incredible. Thank you so much for supporting us yeah. and, um, you know, thinking that our pens are worth collecting. <laughs> um, that's very special to us. Yeah. So that is, of course, our Sailor Refresh Sim Fountain Pen. Right. Um, and then our Ceramics Ink Series is something that Neil and I have been working very hard yeah. on. Um, and it's not just Neil and me, obviously, like the right. team has yeah, come together, together to just, yeah. work on these inks as well, because right. it's eight inks. Right. Uh, we went from just having our one number one origin ink to yeah. a series <laughs> of eight inks. And I'm still sort of in shock that we were even able to make this happen. I'm, yeah. I'm blown away, like honestly, we worked with um, an artist, a ceramic artist, yeah. to make these inks and, you know, when he replied to our email, we were like, oh my God, he replied yeah. to our email. <laughs> <laughs> it did take some time, right, right. but it was shocking. Yeah. The, the artist is from China, um, his name is Li Yanxing. Yeah. And he's a ceramic artist and he spent decades um, on his ceramics works. One of his most significant research that he's put together is um, kind of rediscovering these colors used in uh, different uh, Chinese dynasties. Um, so in different times, um, uh, a blue in Song Dynasty, sometime 500 to a thousand years ago, they were documented in uh, a, a way that right now it's a little hard to reproduce because the mineral was not as pure back then when it comes to extraction <clears throat> or the the meaning of the word was was different right. um, than what it means right now um, so he spent um, 10 years um, coming up with a system putting together with all these um, different colors uh, from the uh, history and then um, right now you have a modern way to uh, recreate these colors that's used in uh, a lot of famous pieces um, in um, a lot of them are in museum right mm -hmm. now yeah he yeah. selected these particular eight colors for right. us because he felt that they were the most representative across the different dynasties right. um, and so they're very vivid bright colors and we made these with Ink Institute, obviously, right. who else to make these beautiful inks for us and the company that made our first number one origin ink. And uh, if you'll recall, we actually had um, a bunch of, you know, different candidates for them sent to us and we made these swatches. Some of the colors that like the, the red with a little bit of um, more pinkish, uh, which is closer to what the glaze should look like. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to be as close, as true to that as mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then some of the, um, the purple has a little bit of a green in it. That's like, um, uh, and then the, 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 the black with the a little hint of other colors, uh, those are uh, the specification mm. that he wanted to be. Mm. Um, so we actually, um, the process took a little long because we did have to uh, re redo Ask in Institute yeah. to help us to select a few more colors right. to do a different mix. Yeah. 
and then um, and then send it to um, to Shanghai mm -hmm. um, for the artist to approve. Yeah. yeah, they're not all here yet, so yeah. these are actually going to be available for pre-order for now. It was just an absolute dream for us to be able to work with this artist. He is. Um, a real creator, a real like visionary. He actually has his own museum in China right. where he yeah. features his pieces. He, yeah. he felt that the reason that he did this whole, um, spent so many years of his life trying to recreate these glazes is because he had this mission that he wanted the artist to be able to take a role in every step of the art making process. Um, and it's not very common for ceramicists to be able to actually make their own glazes. Mm. Um, so he sought out to make his own glazes um, and obviously to make the ceramic pieces themselves, to fire them. So he's involved in the creation of all of these steps of the process. Yeah. And that was sort of his inspiration for finding these glazes. It really took him a lot of time to be able to recreate and he did he actually recreated 60 glazes but yeah. we just chose eight colors to put into these inks yeah. this project was really meaningful to us because yeah. it puts sort of it's it's not every day that you're seeing stationary um really elevating chinese culture i feel like and um there's a lot to be said in this moment of time about doing that so these pieces yeah. are based on, these inks are based on real historical, historically accurate glazes which come from actual living ceramic pieces, many of which are housed in different museums across right. the world today. Yeah. Um, and you'll see on the, on, the, on the label of each bottle actually um, is an actual piece that uses this glaze that we've translated yeah. into an ink, um, different pieces. So as part of our ink release, we yeah. also created these stickers, which are based off of the actual glazes and the actual historical pieces that uh, these inks are based off of yeah. that Li Yanxun worked to recreate. And we're really excited to be able to use these inks to tell the story of Li Yanxun and his work and really his family's work yeah. um, as well as celebrating Chinese history um, in these ceramics um, and share that in the world of stationery. Because right. it's not every day that you see uh, stationery and Chinese history together, right. I feel like. Yeah. Um, and it's actually kind of rare. It's rare, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's an important part of our history and yeah. uh, we just want to be able to share that with everyone. So yeah, that is our release, our June 1st release. And we are so excited to finally be able to let everyone know and let everyone in on the details of all of these special projects that we've been working on. Yeah. <laughs> and as a thank you, we are very happy to be able to share that these pins have returned. Right. <laughs> um, so for anybody who celebrated our origin release with us last year in yeah. May of 2021, you have a pin um, you probably have a pin that has the first character right. of our name, yeah. the Yo, and our second pin is in the colors of our refreshed fountain pen that yeah. Soraya chose, and um, we will be including this pin with the second character of our name in all orders starting midnight on June 1st. Whether or not they contain any of these items yeah. in these series, um, just any order will get one of these as a thank you because truly this would not be possible um, to, to put together if it wasn't for you. If it wasn't exactly. for you, me, Neil and I would still be uh, doing pop-ups every week in the out of our car and making our own furniture <laughs> and crashing on the couch every night at, on Sundays. <laughs> so thank you all for watching this and for getting excited with us, yeah. for following these stories, for right. supporting our team and making this all possible. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.